And so I've seen the work that organizations like UNHCR do on the ground is absolutely essential. Right now, the organization has access to two thirds of the districts in the country and most of the provinces, but security is making work difficult. Uh, but they are implementing partners on the ground, and I understand that they are delivering critical services uh, to, Afghan, to Afghan people. And I also uh, applaud those countries that have stepped up and said that they would welcome Afghan refugees. But look, we're talking about resettlement here, and resettlement is an option for a, just a narrow portion of refugees. It's a slow, tedious process that benefits only less than 1% of refugees, and those are the most at risk and most vulnerable. I'm also gravely concerned for the entire other population of Afghans who will not benefit, who don't have special visas, and who will not benefit from resettlement. Uh, already, we're seeing inside Afghanistan more than half a million people have been displaced internally since the start of the year. That has created a si significant humanitarian crisis. Right now, the displacement is inside the country, but it is entirely conceivable that given the changing realities on the ground that those people will opt to head for an international border, and should they do so, it's vitally important that, number one, neighboring countries keep their borders open so that refugees, Afghans, can have access to territory, to emergency services, and to asylum procedures, that, number two, the international community, which includes the U.S. and its partners, do everything they can to help and support those neighboring countries in a spirit of solidarity and burden-sharing. And three, that we fund those organizations that are on the ground to provide emergency services and legal protection to uh, displaced Afghans like UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, and others.